Okay, in this video, we are going to continue with derivatives of trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 492 in the Namibia A is level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at a practical example. The diagram shows the graph of y equals x and x and it's from 0 to pi. The point this lies on the curve show that the normal to the curve at Q passes through the point pi 0. Okay, so first find the derivative function and substitute the x value of the coordinate Q to find the gradient of the tangent at Q. So, don't forget, again, do you see, if you look at the function, there's the first one, there's the second one. So I'm going to do the product rule. I rewrite the first one, I differentiate the second one. I rewrite the second one, I differentiate the first one. Okay, so sin, it's cos x, and um, x is just 1. Then I found this. This is my derivative function. Now, what is my point? There is my point. What is my x value? It's a half pi. So I substitute. I come on. I substitute a pi over 2 or a half pi in the, in the place of x. So every time I see x, I substitute that. Now, because it's pi over 2, you can use your calculator, but just remember, it must be on the radiant mode. Okay, if we come to, say, pi over 6 or uh, 1 pi over 6 or 1 third pi, then we will use the triangle. But I think for this one, the best will be to just use the calculator. Just remember to put it on the radiant mode. Then just press pi over 2 times cos pi over 2 plus sin pi over 2. Now this will become 0 and this will become 1. Okay, so what is the gradient? The gradient will be 1. So find the equation of the normal. Now what will I do if I find the normal? I just remember it's negative 1 over m because I must change the signs and I must take the reciprocal. Okay, remember this is x1 and this is y1. So I substitute x uh, y1, I substitute x1 and then I simplify it. So just multiply there, take that over and pi 2 over pi 2 will be 2 pi over 2 and the 2's will cancel and it will just be pi. Okay, so there is the equation of the normal at the point Q. And then show that the normal to the curve at Q passes through the point pi. So I just substitute. Just remember, this is my x and this is my y. And if I substitute, I get 0 equals 0. If the two sides are equal, it shows that the point, point lies on the normal. Okay, not on the curve, but actually on the normal. It can be on the other place also than that point of intersection. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one and number two. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Find the gradient of the curve. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're always going to differentiate first. Okay. So if I differentiate, then dy by dx equals 3 cos x plus, remember, 2 sec squared and 2x. Okay, there's my uh, derivative function. Now, at the point where x is 0. So, I'm going to say, if x is 0, then dy by dx will be 3 cos 0 plus 2 sec squared to 0. And again, just put your calculator on radians and just press it on your calculator. If you want to press this one, sometimes it's more difficult to press it like this. 
So I think the best will then to be to say, keep the two on top, take it over. So it's, oh, sorry, um, come on. So it's cos square. Okay, and that will just be zero. Okay, so press it like that. So if you're going to press that, say three times cos zero, and that is three, plus two divide uh, bracket cos cos zero plus bracket squared equals, but that will just be two. And what will my answer? Five. So let's just answer the question. Find the gradient of the curve. So therefore the gradient at the point where x is 0 will be 5. Ah, oh, something like that. Not even necessary. Okay, let's do number 2. Okay, find the gradient of the curve. Let's just write it down. Y is equal to 3 cos 2x minus 5 sin x. Okay, at the point, and what is that point? Let's just write down the point. It's 1 over 6 pi and negative 1. Okay, so find the gradient. So now I, if I'm start to do this one, let's just start. First we're going to differentiate. So dy by dx is equal to 3. What does cos become? It's negative 2 due to that 2 sin 2x. Minus 5, what does this one become? Cos x. So I'm sitting out with negative 6 sin 2x minus 5 cos x. Okay, so at, I would like to make this zero, at x is equal to 1 over 6 pi. Okay, so let's just do this one. Then dy by dx will be negative 6 sin 2, okay, let's just put it like this, 1 over 6 pi minus 5 cos 1 over, mm, come here, 1 over 6 pi. Okay, now if I simplify this, now this is very important because it's double, it will be 2 over 6, which will give me 1 over 3. So it's sin 1 over 3 pi minus 5 cos 1 over 6 pi. Okay, now this, this is the special angles. So if I'm going to, I just have to quickly go and I'm, I'm going to make space here. Now, remember how I remember that. It's, it's working it without a calculator. Can I just show you? I always remember it like this. It's if you have... I want to take another color. Remember, it's coming from an equilateral triangle. So this is the way I remember it. Okay. So if it's an equilateral triangle, then this was 60. This was 60. And this was cut into half, so this is 30, okay? So I'm, I'm only working with one part. Now, because it was equilateral, it was 2, 2, and because this is cut, this is 1. With Pythagoras' theorem, I can work out that... Mm, I want to just make that another color. So this is 2, this is 1, and with Pythagoras' theorem, I can work out that is 3. Okay, so I'm focusing on this one. Then remember 60 degrees. It's almost like the opposite. This is 1 over 3, and 30 is 1 over 6. It's, it's pi. 
So this is 1 over 3 pi, and this is 1 over 6 pi, if I put it in radians. Okay, so now if I'm, I'm asking you something like this, I can just start by saying negative 6. Okay, now what is sin? Sin, here I am, 1 over 3 pi. So sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's square root 3 over 2 minus 5 cos, cos. It's adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's also square root 3 over 2 because it's from different angles. Okay. Mm. I'll just move it up a little bit. Now it's just simplifying. So if this is over 1, it goes in 1, it goes in 3. So it will be negative 3. I just want to, sorry, I just want to control something quickly. So it will be negative 3 square root 3 minus 5 square root 3, put it over 1, over 2. So I times 2, I times 2. I make the denominators the same. So I'm ending up with negative 6 square root 3 over 2 minus 5 square root 3 over 2. So negative 6, negative 5, let's just move it up a little bit. And the exact answer will be, come on, negative 11 square root 3 over 2. And that will be, let's just go back to the question. Find the gradient of the curve at the point. So this will be the gradient of the curve. Therefore, gradient of the curve at 1 over 6 by negative 1 is negative 11 square root 3 over 2 point. And that's my answer.